Hey guys, I'm back. This is an impromptu video. Um, I should be going to sleep because I have an 8 a.m. patient tomorrow and it's past midnight. I just wanted to um, check in with you guys. I have a new place to record. I'm just recording on my iPhone today, but I hope to start using this fancy camera I got. I uh, don't know much about cameras, but I'm learning. So hopefully I can use this, uh, this fancy camera soon. Today, I just wanted to talk kind of off the cuff about something that is super important and it's something that I try to explain to my patients every day. And uh, this might sound funny coming from a shrink, but the truth of the matter is, is that psych meds will not make you happy. They don't have the ability to make anyone happy. The metaphor that I like using is if we think of our happiness as water flowing out of a hose. I know that's not the most, uh, not the most romantic or, or beautiful metaphor, but hear me out. So happiness is water coming out of a hose. So there's really two things that can go wrong if water is not flowing out of the hose. So there's uh, kinks or gunk stuck in the stuck in the hose. You know, let's just say that the hose is clogged or kinked. So that's one reason why water wouldn't flow out. But the other reason is that there's no actual water in the hose. Imagine something like depression. Let's let's stick with depression for this one. Imagine depression is you know, like water not coming out of a hose and the hose is kinked, right? Psych meds can help unkink the hose, unclog it. But if there's no actual water, then it's not going to change much. You're still gonna be happy or maybe even miserable. So what is the water in this, you know, metaphor? Water is the stuff of your, like, in your life, the things that make you happy, the things that make you feel like life is meaningful and purposeful. It's the stuff that makes you want to spring out of bed early in the morning to go do stuff, right? When people don't have things that they don't value, they're not working towards, they don't have a vision for what they want to do in their life, they're not active, then psych meds, like unkinking a hose, will not do anything if you don't actually have water in the hose. So this is this can be really demoralizing for patients because they think that taking Prozac or Wellbutrin or, or what have you is going to, that's the, the missing piece to their happiness. It never is unless depression is genuinely the only reason that you're not happy. And this, this can happen, this happens frequently, but taking psych meds and then not living a purposeful life where you don't have like goals or a vision, things you're working for, you know, doing things, involving yourself in things that you love doing or spending time with people that you love you know, psych meds just is is not the, the the silver bullet that you think it's going to be. So antidepressants, for example, ha can and has changed millions and millions of lives, probably hundreds of millions, you know, since they started coming out in the 50s. When psych meds work, though, for depression, it's because these patients already had a life that was able to produce happiness. You know, they had they had a hose that actually had water in it, right? So antidepressants work the best when you combine it, if you don't, if you don't already have these things, but you combine it with a life that's worth living, right? So this means 
you know, you're working towards things in your life. You have major goals and vision. You have meaningful social interactions. You, you do things in your life that give you a sense of satisfaction and self-mastery. So the most potent combination for depression is really going to be antidepressants and what within the cognitive behavioral model of depression we call behavioral activation. Behavioral activation is the idea that for humans to be happy, they need to do things that give them joy, pleasure, satisfaction. And um, when you don't have goals in your life, you don't have meaningful activities, you know, switching antidepressants, starting one, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do what you think it's going to do, right? Think of an antidepressant as unkinking the hose, but now it's your, um, it's really your job and your responsibility. And this isn't something I can prescribe someone as an antidepressant. It's your responsibility to put water on that hose and do things and make plans and have a vision and have goals in your life that will allow you to actually lead, lead a meaningful, colorful life, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's the main, the main gist of what I was wanting to say today. Um, combine antidepressants with a meaningful life, okay? That right there is a powerful antidepressant regimen. And um, yeah, well, I should go to bed now. <laughs> Good night.